Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to talk about piping and the T command in Linux. A pipe is a form of redirection that is transfer of standard output to some other destination which is used in Linux and other Unix like operating systems to send the output of one command to another command for further processing. You can make it do so by using the pipe character which can be found with the backslash key on the keyboard. Pipe is used to combine two or more commands and in this the output of one command acts as input to the another command and this command output may itself act as an input to the next command and so on. Let us see an example. In this example, the output of ls command acts as an input to wc command which has been used as an option. Pipes are unidirectional which means that the data flow from left to right through the pipeline. Since ls gives us a listing of files and directory, it will be sent to wc and since we are using it with the minus l option. It will simply give the number of lines in ls which is nothing but the number of files and directories in the working directory. Multiple commands can be connected in this way forming a pipeline. Let us run this command on our system. It gives us 14 as the output which means that there are 14 files and directory in my current working directory. Now let us look at the t command. The t command reads the standard input and writes it to both the standard output and one or more files. It handles character stream by duplicating its input. It saves one copy in a file and writes the other to the standard input. Let us see an example. It does both the tasks simultaneously. First it copies the result into the specified file and next it displays the result as well. In this example output of ls will be copied into a file named list and the output will be displayed on a terminal as well. Let us see it on our system. As you can see, it gives us the output of ls and we can view the list file which has been created and it contains the output of ls as well. That's all for this video. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.